Hello everybody, Lego Buddies here. Today I'm going to show you an intermediate method of the pure minx. So it's going to be an intermediate method. It's one step above the uh, basic uh, intuitive method. And basically you're going to be solving one side first. And then uh, my method, which I kind of came up with, is when you're putting in the last piece of the other layer, you're going to force the last layer to come into alignment. The good thing about this method is, uh, besides the basic algorithm like that, the only other algorithm you'll need is a flipping algorithm like this, and that's the only algorithm, and you'll probably already know it from your beginner's method. So to begin, we're just going to line up three of these pieces, and if you've done the beginner's method, you'll already know this, but basically this is all one piece, all the way along here, and so you basically need to find three pieces that have yellow on them. And so here's one of them that has yellow on them, here's one that has yellow on them, and here's another one that has yellow on it. So these three pieces all have yellow on them, so this is going to need the yellow side. So we can just see where the yellow stickers are on the pieces, and just move them all up. And so you're just going to need to get three pieces in here. It doesn't matter if these pieces are in or not. So it can just be like this. Now in the beginner's method, you would realign this last layer, uh, so it would match up with all these centers, but you actually don't need to do that, because you're going to be doing just one side first. So the next step you're going to do is just line up all the chips like that. You don't have to do the last tip until last. You can do it now if you want. Now what you're going to do is just hold it like this with yellow on the bottom, and this is what it's going to be for the rest of the solve. And then you're just going to put in two of the three pieces in here. And so what you can do is just, you see, I'm going to get this piece into this slot. And so I'll line it up on the top layer. And so the color uh, on this, so the color that's not uh, yellow, in this case red, lines up with the center, the red center, like that. And then you can simply bring this slot up, right here, bring it in, and bring it down. This works the opposite way too, so you see we have this piece right here, line it up with its color, and put it in. And now another color, so this one's already lined up, uh, if it was like this it wouldn't work. But you line it up, bring the slot up, bring it in the slot, and then bring it back down, just like that. Keep in mind that if you do not line up the color uh, first, like that, and try and put it in, it'll be backwards. And so if you accidentally put one in backwards, or one's already in backwards, you can simply take it out and then put it back in. If, say, you want to put in the yellow and green piece, but it's already in a different slot, you can take it out, using the same algorithm, and just put it back in. However, keep in mind that if you're going to want to do this the fastest you can, you're just going to want to look for a piece on the top layer and then match it up, because it's inefficient to have to take a piece out and then put it back in. So yes, that's basically what you do for the first two pieces. You see, we just put those two pieces in right here. And now for the next and last piece, it's a little bit special. So you're just going to line it up as you would normally, just like that. And you see, normally we would do this side, so I'm going to keep track that it's this side. And so what we're going to do now is look at the piece that's already in the slot, and then while putting this piece in, we're going to put this piece in the slot on the top layer. So normally if you did the normal algorithm, you would put this piece in this slot, which you see is not correct, because it goes in like that, and like that. So what we're going to do, since we want to put this piece in its slot, which is back here, we're actually going to turn the top layer before we put the piece up, and so when we do put the piece up, it's in the right spot, like that. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to turn the top layer until it lines up with the slot opposite to where the piece originally was. I, I know that may seem a bit confusing, but you'll get it. <laughs> and then you just put the piece in like that, and then turn the top layer again until the piece that you wanted to go in goes in, and then bring it back down. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time with a slightly different case, and I'll show you a special case that you can get. So you see right here, this is the piece that we're trying to get into here, and so we can simply line it up as we would normally. So we can put it in like here, but we're not going to do that yet. And now you see the piece that's already in the slot is red and green, and so this is the slot where red and green needs to go, because he's center. And this one case, you actually don't have to do anything special with the top layer, because it already goes into the correct spot. And just note that you don't have to align it correctly. And so now, just turn the top layer back so it's lined up, and then put it back down. The slightly more interesting case comes when you see this is the piece in the slot, it's uh, red and green, and this is the slot that it needs to go in. This is actually the slot that the piece is already in. 
And so in this case, you would just do what you think and move it so it will go in. And then bring it up, keep in mind which axis you're using. Bring it back down, and then that piece back down. And you see that I actually didn't get the piece in because you hid the piece back there. So now what you're going to do is just basically turn the upper layer again, and you see this piece will automatically line up with the piece that's up here. You can just put it in, put that piece in, and then put it back down. Okay, now I'll just do a couple more examples with that. So you see here, this is a piece. Line it up, and we need to get this piece in. And so we line it up with the slot right here, put that in, put that in, and bring it down. And here's one last case, again, line it up, and then you see this is the piece, and it needs to go in, oh, this is actually the same slot, and so what we would do is line up the top layer, bring it in, turn it, and bring it back down, and turn it again, bring it up, bring it in, and down. I know that is a bit confusing, but yeah. So yeah, I practice going through that uh, last case again, because it can be a bit tricky. So now, for the last step, all you need to do is line up the tip with the centerpiece, just like you would normally do. And then line up the centerpiece with the rest of the centerpieces. So it's just like this. And at this point, it'll either be solved, or you'll have two pieces that need to switch like this. If you don't already know from a previous method, all you have to do to fix this case is do a simple algorithm. So, with the two pieces in the top like this, you just do L, R prime, L prime, R, u prime r u r prime and the cube will become solved. I personally like this method because when you're putting that last piece in with the last layer just like that there's a chance that it'll already be solved when you're done and so there's a lot higher chance of last layer skips. So that's basically it for this method and tutorial. If you have any questions or comments like you don't know how to uh, do this or you want to leave a comment on uh, just the method in general, uh, you can leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! But, whoa, it moved. And now it's moving back. What? I'm not touching it at all. See, my hands are just not... I don't know.